we want to now deal with using our computer to graph our earthquake data, having a computer graph the circles uh, that the seismic centers found, uh, you know, the distances away from the seismometer, and then getting that triangulation. So we're going to have to write the equations of circles. So, you've got to remember the equation of a circle. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And usually x and y are offset because uh, they are not always centered at 0, 0. Um, so plus or minus some number for moving it right or left, plus or minus a number, moving it right or up, moving it up or down, and then r is the radius of our circle squared. On the earth, the latitude and the longitude are the offsets, the x and the y's. But you gotta figure out which is x and which is y. You gotta know which is which. So lines of latitude run side run sideways. They're like a ladder. The rungs of a ladder go sideways, but as you go up the ladder is how the numbers change. So going up a latitude is y. So latitude is y. Lines of longitude run pole to pole, and they are the long lines. They're the same length lines always from pole to pole, and they change by going sideways. So we're starting at zero at the prime meridian, and going left would be 20, 40, 60, 80. So longitude is x. Got to remember that. Now, I looked up some data. So Fresno is at 36.7, da 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 da, and negative 119.7 something. Um, all these decimals are just for, for really good precision, getting those places down exactly. So it's a matter of how, what level of precision you want to deal with to what you want to go to, how many decimals you want to use. Um, so now, they always report latitude first. It's always north, south, and then east, west. So the 36 is actually y. So let us enter our equations here, and we will have parentheses x minus a negative uh, 119.8. Yeah, everything's going to be rounded somewhere, so it's a matter of how level of position you want. And I'm going to put a superscript to later. I, this has to be, got to do it a certain way. Certain order of doing things. Y minus 36.7, um, and that's going to get squared, equals, now what's the radius? Well, we found this out before. That was how far away from the center did we feel an earthquake? And that's the data you already got from that distance time chart. So for Fresno, it was 340 squares. So now we've got to actually put these up as superscripts. So that's how you figure it out. You got x minus, and then it's a negative 119. So that, that's actually going to become a plus. And then don't worry about that. You can put minus minus. It works and then y minus the 36.7 and then equals the radius squared and it's 340 okay so got to do it for those two um, now let's let's uh, pop over to a, a grapher which would be Desmos and graph this alright so launch calculator um, I already started it so I've got two of the equations in and I actually put all the decimals in there um, and they've got squares. So let's just put the third one in now. Um, X minus a negative 112 and square it plus Y minus um, 33. And again, it's all level precision. Be nice if we could say it consistent, but I'm just trying to get this done in a orderly and quick fashion. This should be a squared equals uh, 595 squared. And we're rendering, see they got 340 squared, so there's the, all three equations. Um, and you wonder why there's no circle? Well, the radius is 600. They're circles. They're just really big. And they're also centered somewhere else. Now that doesn't look right, does it? Aren't they supposed to overlap somewhere? Because it looks like they're centered at the same spot. 
Actually, it's a little different. They're a little not quite centered in the same spot. But, yeah, there's not much difference between 112, 115, and 119. 36, 36, and 33. So, yeah, centers are all just a little bit. But something's wrong. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because it took me a while to figure it out. But that's how you put in the, the equation. We, we did something wrong with our equation. Uh, that's an equation of a circle, but we did something wrong with our numbers. Um, I'll tell you about that later. Um, but I did find another website which would allow us to just input um, coordinates. And here's the website, so if you want to write it down, pause it. Yeah, let's go to that website. And over here it says, hey, plot coordinates and plot a circle. So I'm going to do both, plot coordinate and plot circle. Um, the coordinates going to give us the center of the circle. Now it looks like they want you to do angle brackets around latitude and longitude, but they actually don't. So, um, and we're going to go rough for quickness. This is minus, uh, let's see, latitude first. So this is going to be uh, 36.7 and negative 119.8. And then 36.1 and negative 115.2 and then 33.4 and negative 112.1. Looking good, looking good. All right, I'm going to copy those points because those are going to be my center points. When I plot a circle, I, I actually have to tell it latitude, longitude. I have to tell the center of the circle and then radius. So I just copied them. Um, but why is nothing showing up? Oh, you gotta find them. Oh wait, I also have to tell it to update the map. Boom. Look, there's the circles. Awesome. Yeah, they're over here. Right where I thought. Yeah, they're not next to each other. Hey. Good, let's give some radiuses. This 119 was 340. Uh, radius of this circle was 380. And this is, you know, this is the data you find. You find uh, the distance by using that seismometer and you get the time lapse and then you look at a chart to say this 30 second time lapse corresponds to a 300, 40, 320, whatever distance. That's what you're getting. And now you're going to tell it to graph those circles. There's all three. So that you can find, hey look, an overlap. So now let's zoom in. And we find that the circles, and again, we did not really precise. We only did one decimal for the coordinates of our centers. Um, so we found, though, that, hey, there's there's this kind of overlap looking over here at uh, right around LA. So that's how you translate the idea between um, earthquake, latitude, longitude, and equations of circles.